Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Witchcraft SMP. I am your host, Elsewhere, uh, and I have great news. So I recently heard back from the United Congress that we will be uh, able to meet sometime in the next few days. All of the aristocrats and fancy people will be able to get together, and we can actually talk about and maybe deal with uh, the threat of the dragons and the heralds dragon and the heralds. God, I hope there aren't multiple dragons. That being said, uh, I, I feel pretty prepared. You know, we've worked hard. We have, we've done some demonic magic. We've done some brewing. We've done a, a variety of miniature adventures and as by way of preparing for the fight. Uh, but there is still one more thing I want to do. So we're going, going to go on a bit of a brewing rampage today, uh, and make some potions that will help us in the fight and help the other people. Assuming, of course, that I can convince them all to participate, which, you know, we'll see, fingers crossed. So today, the book that we really need is the Witch's Brews book. Uh, as you, you guys saw last time, uh, when I made Space Mead, uh, I'll be making more of that today. Uh, so that is the uh, level 8 keep inventory brew as a base, uh, but I'm also thinking about making a few brews that will just generally make us stronger. Uh, most of those effects are pretty low level, so we'll be able to stack a bunch of them together. I see regeneration, um, damage boost, we used that one last time. Um, do -do. Think that's everything we want from yeah that's everything we want from level two um level one doesn't have a lot of buffs if i remember correctly level four though should have absorption uh and i think we want to add that one there it is okay absorption and health boost uh we want to add those in as well uh and i think that's everything okay uh, I'm also going to be making one additional brew that I've been using a lot lately, and I will show you what I'm using it for. Uh, it is the brew of sprouting. I've got a few left over here, uh, but I have been... It, it's necessary in a lot of terraforming uh, rituals, and so recently, as I've waited for the United Congress to spin their incredibly slow wheels up, uh, I've been doing some casual terraforming on the side. Uh, just to keep myself occupied. So we will need some brews of sprouting as well. Uh, that one's a little simpler. We'll just have to harvest some of our trees. So we need Rowan, Alder, and Hawthorne, and then a bunch of ingredients we have plenty of. Uh, I have a Rowan Grove up here on the top of the mountain. Uh, which is that I, I regularly come up here and harvest. I don't think I've actually done so on stream before, so let's grab a few trees out of it. Uh, I also don't think that you guys have seen me fight an Ent, uh, and usually when I harvest up here, an Ent does spawn, so with any luck, we'll get to see one. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure that we haven't actually fought an Ent live. They, I, I, I usually tend to do my, my tree harvesting and stuff like that off stream. Uh, so the ants spawn and I fight them and then they're gone. Oh, there we go. Uh, so that little white particle effect means that an ant has taken issue with me. So they'll be somewhere around here. If I can just, where are you? Hmm. Well, I don't see them. I'm sure they'll make themselves known before long. Let's grab a few more trees. Uh, doo -doo. Get as many saplings as necessary. Obviously, we, we don't need that many, but I'm, I figure while I'm up here, I might as well do my full harvesting routine and just get enough saplings to last us for a while. Uh, especially if, if, you know, after the whole dragon mess is cleared up. I want to continue training with huntsmen, uh, maybe see if I can win one of their spears off them in Mortal Kombat. Then I will need a bunch of saplings for that. Plus, Rowan saplings are just generally useful. 
even aside from being able to be burned for whiff of magic, which is an extremely common ingredient, a uh, common fume in rituals and potions and gear and literally everything. You guys have seen me make impregnated leather. That uses four of it. Uh, I'm sure you've seen me use whiff of magic for plenty of other things. Uh, even in addition to that, rowan tree, rowan saplings also are just saplings, which means they're good for wicker bundles, and they are required for certain rituals, one of which I'll be showing off today. All right. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ow. Ow. Hey. 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 We don't, we really don't have to fight. But if you insist, <laughs> unfortunately for the poor Ents, uh, they are earthbound, so I can just sort of fly out of the way and then barrage them with shurikens. Uh, it feels a little cheap, but it is it, it works. All right, let's get these last few trees, then we'll replant, and then we will head on down to do some brewing. That. Don't want to miss any of the saplings that drop. All right. How many do we have? Almost a stack. Uh, that should be good. I can leave the rest. Uh, do, do I am going to replant a bunch of these though. It is my policy not to take more than I give necessarily. We must take care of the earth. So, even when I'm harvesting trees in the wild. I always make a point of replanting because we need them. And because in the future I will probably need to get more trees, so better to oops, better to do the the work now of replanting and and have them when I need them. All right. So with these in tow, it's actually nighttime, so I'll I'll have a quick uh, dream feast and then we will get started on the brewing. Uh, I'm not sure how many batches of brews of sprouting I really want to make at the moment. Probably a few. They're very cheap, uh, as you can see. So, uh, oh, I'm, I'm also going to have to mine some more alder because I think I'm, yeah, I don't even have that many hawthorn. So let's quickly, let's say, let's say we'll make uh, well, I'll, let me let me harvest these first, and then we'll decide. Excuse, excuse me, please, excuse me. Thank you. All right. Um, I think I have some alder planted over here somewhere, but it doesn't really matter. We'll just plant a new one and then bone meal it a bunch. All right. This seems like as good a place as any. Uh, let's grab the bone meal. Lord knows I have plenty of bones. Using a looting sword on skeletons is a, um, well, it's a bit of a shortcut. All right, did I get any? I did not, I got a single sapling from that tree. Come on, you can do better, tree. I believe in you, I believe. Uh, do anything, do, okay, that's, that's a step in the right direction. Alder trees are kind of short and squat. They don't grow as tall as rowans, uh, so fewer saplings to acquire. You know, harvest those too. Nothing. Um, up to seven. That's okay. That's now we're now we're talking. We'll plant this one and then do the same with some hawthorn, and then we will be ready to go. Excuse me. These leaves do not belong to you belong to the, the alder and hopefully uh, nope not a single one of them is going to have a sapling in it that's a shame all right 11 that's acceptable I guess then let's do one hawthorn and then we'll make 10 batches of brews I know that seems like a lot and it is but the amount that of these that you use in oh wow that I forgot how big the hawthorn trees were. Okay, that was easy. Uh, yeah, 10 batches of 
Bruise of Sprouting should be useful. So the main rituals that I'm using, hang on, let's harvest these really quickly. The main rituals that I'm using Bruise of Sprouting for, oh wow, this tree has just fused. You know what, you can keep it. You can keep the hawthorn leaves. I have plenty of saplings. So the main, the main rituals these are used for are the Rite of Moving Earth, which lifts chunks of the ground out of uh, the earth. It, if you guys have been here when I've been to Goblin Town, uh, the mine that the kobolds, the hobgoblins are currently mining, was originally made by lifting uh, a building, as, as you can see, a building and a big chunk of earth out of the ground using the right of moving earth. Uh, the other big ritual that I'm using a lot, or the other two that I'm using a lot of, are... Here we go... Oh, there's, there's the um, right of moving earth, as you can see, Bruce, sprouting cactus, and then a different powder based on how big you want it to be. Um, here it is. So the right of nature's power uh, requires a brew of sprouting and every kind of sapling. Uh, and that is one that I've been using, and the right of the forest also uses a brew of sprouting. And I've been messing around with that too, but a little less. Uh, and you'll see those in action in a little bit. So let's put away our wood. And put away the berries. All right. Always want to save at least one of each type of sapling. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, two. Uh, and we'll actually, we'll, we'll make nine batches so that we can save uh, one of each type of sapling for the uh, actual ritual that we're going to perform. Right. So these three uh, in this, hang on, was that the right order? Yes. Uh, Tongue of Dog, Mandrake, and Poppy. Mandrake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I actually don't, oh no, I've got plenty of poppies. Great. And Tongue of Dog, oh wow, I'm actually, oh no, never mind, I missed the entire stack sitting nearby. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of Tongue of Dog. Alright, so that's all the ingredients for this. For the Rite of Nature's Power, I also need Oak, Spruce, Birch, and a Charged Attuned Stone. So let's grab Birch don't have any oak ironically uh, and I only have one spruce so let's go turn this one spruce into multiple spruce and acquire an oak sapling from one of these lovely trees here you seem as good a pick as any oh hello extra hawthorn sapling don't mind if I do and you and you and you okay great that gives us two? No, there are definitely more scattered around, surely. Well, I can't repl- okay, three. I guess that's all we need. So let me replant these really quickly. Keep one of them. Alright, oak, birch, spruce. Actually, let me clone this spruce tree. Bone meal is a wonderful fertilizer. There we go. Okay. Apparently, uh, welcome to the tree cutting stream. Quality content here at somewhere else. All right, that's a nice amount of extra saplings. So we will put one of them back. Take the rest with us. And then we will go and charge in a tombstone. I believe I have one in my knapsack at the moment. Uh, and I keep the various materials necessary for a ritual of charging on hand here in my ritual chest. So that is a glowstone, redstone, wood ash, and quicklime. Uh, currently, the upstairs circle is being used for infusion recharge, as you can see by the bar on the left. So I'm actually going to go to the downstairs circle the spirit circle, which I'm, I don't actually, I, I've shown this on stream, but not since I upgraded it. Uh, I now have a, a spirit summoning hut 
made of glass to either contain the spirits or keep the spirits out because I have found that they are a little buggy uh, and have a tendency to cause problems uh, related to attacking me, scything through all of my armor, and then violently ending me and guarding my armor. Which is... and, and stuff. Which is not ideal. Alright, so we throw all those down. It should charge up the attuned stone. Uh, charged attuned stones, aside from being used in the construction of a lot of witchery objects, or rather, normal attuned stones are used in the construction of a lot of witchery machines. Charged attuned stones are usually used in rituals uh, as a substitute for altar power. So if you're performing a ritual with a charged attuned stone, it bypasses any altar power cost and can be performed anywhere, which is super useful. So now we've got that, let's put away some of this clutter in our inventory. Um, keep one of you. I don't need to keep the ant twig at the moment because we're not doing a right of the forest just yet. Uh, put away the oak wood, spruce wood. Uh, chow down on this delicious apple, except I'm full, so we'll actually just throw it in there. Check, check, check. I think I forgot to sleep through the night and eat food, but that's all right. Uh, I don't know where this iron pickaxe came from. Salem, you're on, you're on the chest again. You are on the chest. There we go. All right, let's get to brewing then. We'll start with the brews of sprouting. Get some water in there, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One of the nice advantages of getting my bark belt and getting all set up for uh, my, my clothes and everything is that now... Uh, I'm always wearing the stuff that will increase my brew chance. So I no longer have to be switching around armor whenever I want to brew. I just get to come over and brew. All right. Nice. Okay. This is going to make quite a few. But that is what we want to see. Wonderful. brewing in the underground kettle that I do not trust because I keep losing things in it. Admittedly, since uh, since this has been added and since I've stopped keeping it full of water, I do have less of a tendency to accidentally pitch incredibly valuable items into the kettle. Uh, at this point, I use it as a trash can sometimes because I know that if I throw something in, it will melt down immediately. So at times I have just opened it, put water in it, and then thrown random things in it just so that they would get out of my inventory. All right, we are up to almost half a stack, but we're not stopping here. This is a little bit fewer, lower yield than I was expecting. Um, it may be that I'm just not landing the chance of extra brews as frequently as I would like. Okay. And our second to last. And our final brew. Alright. I'll put this away. 49 brews of sprouting, that's not so bad. Uh, let's organize this. So this is the setup for the ritual that we're going to perform. Uh, and now that I have everything, I might as well go do that and show, show you what it looks like. Oh, it's night again. We are doing this out in the wasteland, so let's uh, take a quick pause and rest so that it is not the middle of the night. And you'll see where we're going on my map. Uh, whoops. My journey map is very far away from this at the moment. Okay. Uh, here's us, the valley, and Green Mount. Uh, and you can see down here, uh, I don't know if you guys... I, I don't have a way of pinging it specifically. Whoops. Uh, but there is a spot right here at the edge of the desert in the center of the screen uh, that is has some plants on it, uh, which is unusual for the desert. And that is what we are going to be showing a little more of at the moment. I have been uh, slowly 
or I, I've just begun, but I'm, I'm working on slowly terraforming. Hang on, do I have enough chalk for this? Because I'm gonna have to write a circle. I'm always leaving home without my chalk. Let's see if we've got some on hand. Uh, that might be enough. What size circle do we need? An 11 by. Now uh, you know what? I will grab an extra thing of chalk from home just in case we need it. Should really put up my broom because as much as I love my manual flight, uh, it does not go very fast. All right, so we'll grab an extra piece of chalk uh, and take that with us. I don't think I have any circle talismans on hand with an 11 by circle. Uh, but I can always check. It would be up here in the chest. Same place as the chalk. So there's the chalk. Is that? No, that's a small ritual, so that's a 7 by. Uh, all right, so yeah, we'll just go make a new one. Actually, I believe I still have a circle out there. Uh, so I'm going to make a second attuned stone. I don't think I've shown uh, circle talisman work before, so let's let's do that. Let us make a new circle talisman. It's expensive, but it's worth it most of the time. All right, that one, two, three, four. So the cool thing about circle talismans. Uh, is that obviously you, you know the circles around my home are in a state of pretty much they're pretty much static uh, because I mostly use them for the same things but when you build a circle out in the wild sometimes you want to you you, you want to pick it up and bring it home with you because so you don't just leave chalk around or sometimes with your your stable circle areas you want to switch out exactly what circles you have uh, to do that there we go. Sorry, I've got to go get some lava to make a second charge of tombstone. Uh, to do that, you throw down a circle talisman and some redstone, uh, and it binds the circle into the talisman. Uh, and then at a future point, you can throw the talisman down uh, to automatically c create the circle in one click instead of painstakingly drawing it out. Uh, it's super useful, uh, and I, I secretly have high hopes for uh, future dramatic moments where I have to throw down a circle in order to uh, snap perform a ritual but uh, at the moment I don't have a lot of circle talismans mostly because uh, for the longest time I was perpetually short on diamonds and now I'm perpetually short on gold uh, but once that finishes I'll be able to make more carry them around more frequently uh, and then you know use them for cool things so let's just quickly a tombstone and then we'll charge it and I actually am not going to need the chalk anymore because we're just going to pick up the one that's already out there so actually hang on I might need you for something else later and I should take this with me and I should take that with me all right let's throw it all into here with oh well, shoot, I had an, a spare talisman sitting literally right there. Now I have two. I guess it can't hurt. Uh, okay, got all my equipment, got my a tune stone. Let's go grab the stuff we need in order to charge it. Uh, when you pick up, here, I can, just, I can just show you using the book. When you pick up a circle uh, into a talisman, as you can see, it requires uh, a thousand altar power, and if you're out in the wilderness, not near any altar, uh, you have to substitute that with a charged attuned stone. Uh, it doesn't consume the stone, thank God, otherwise that would be ridiculously expensive. Uh, it just consumes the charge. As, as do most rituals that use attuned stones for power. Alright, come on, excuse me. Alright. Alright, 
throw you and all of you, anoint the stone, create my charge, and then we will be off to do some casual terraforming. Yeah, there we go. All right. I can show, oh, I better not sing. I don't want to get copyright struck. Um, I do always think of, uh, I can show you the world when I get on the broom, though. All right. I, I confess uh, that what I'm doing is actually, it's not just a, you know, helping the earth, doing good things. Uh, it's also a bit of a spite play because technically all of the desert uh, near us has been claimed by the Empire of New Desertlandia as their territory. Uh, and as you've seen from my encounters, my interactions with the Emperor, we don't entirely see eye to eye even though we are allies and we frequently work together. Uh, so it's a, a small act of trolling slash a little bit of getting back at him for some of his rudeness towards me in the past by making his land no longer desert. So if we throw, gotta be careful. Uh, so yeah, actually I should point out, I just walked into this like it was nothing. This is what the right of nature's power does. All of those, well not all of them, but the majority of them are actually witchery trees. Uh, and as you saw on the ground, ember moss that I didn't plant, glint weed that I didn't create. Um, the ritual itself, and I'll look at all these melons, there's water, it's converted sand into dirt. Uh, it basically transforms the area into a witchery exclusive biome, uh, which is super cool. And apparently it's still running. Are you really? Are you really? All right, well, then I won't interrupt you. I'll use chalk after all. Uh, I've got to grab out the ender chest then. Oh, not like that. Uh, if you could see the, the little, the green particles and the little red, um, the, the green particles rising off the glyph and the red redstone uh, vibe going around the base. Uh, here we go. We can get a look from here. No, are you done? Are you done now? Okay, it's done now. I don't know if you saw it before when I did, but okay. In that case, let us throw down a tuned stone and a circle talisman. Right click. Ah, shoot. This tall grass is in the way. Okay, let's try this again. Circle talisman, a tuned stone. If I can, glint weed. Oh, redstone. Um, redstone. Make some redstone. Throw some down. Now. Put this. No, wait. Throw the redstone. Okay. Let's try that again. That Well, that's why there's... Did I forget again? Yes, it uses glowstone. It doesn't use redstone when you're doing it like this. Okay. Well, that is a small issue, considering that I don't have any glowstone on me. But I believe I saw a village over here, which means that glowstone is actually quite easy to acquire. Uh, some of the one of the uh, extra mods that we have in for this mod pack, just for for theme and fun. Uh, introduces a bunch of extra uh, structures that are really cool like this windmill and as it just so happens this windmill has some glowstone uh, is there any inside that will damage the yeah okay I don't want to you know ruin the outside aesthetic but I will take this glowstone right here and run back it's becoming dark which is only a small problem Hopefully the light of the glintweed and the fire of the ember moss will keep us safe in our little grove here while we pick up the circle. So for this this last one that I set up, I actually forgot to click it with my seer stone, which means this is significantly less powerful 
than the right we're about to perform. Ow, ow. Man, it's a great thing I have, like, at least two units of fire protection on this. Okay. Charge of Tombstone, Glowstone Dust, Circle Talisman. Let's actually get it this time, please. I just interrupted this. I just interrupted the ritual. Okay. I'm... No, no, don't... Don't pick... Maybe don't pick those up. Put it over there. Okay. Very clumsy ritualist. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, now you can see... We have a medium ritual circle and a talisman. We have expended the charge from our tombstone, and we have picked up the circle. It is no longer around us. That's a lot of mobs. All right, let's pick the spot for our next expansion. Let's say right here. Grab that. Slap it down. See if I can find a spot that works no there we go hey 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 don't don't do that are there creepers around here i don't think so all right i'll switch robes then and now they don't care about me anymore great all right so we've put the circle in ow why i'm wearing necromancer's robes you're not supposed to be hostile what Well, you leave me no choice. I was gonna let you be. But if you cannot respect the magic robes... Okay. Oh, if, if that's the case, I'm just gonna put back on my good ones. All right. So, Bruce Sprouting, Rowan, Alder, Hawthorn, Oak, Birch, Spruce, charge the Tune Stone, grab my Seer Stone, and summon the whole coven for this one. Let's see how big of an area we can terraform. Ter ter terraform. Terraform. I, I certainly don't intend to cause terror of any description by doing this. All right, it begins. Let's fly up and watch. Okay, that's already a bigger area. Oops, cloud. All right, you can see the glowstone spawning all over the place. The sand turning into grass. You can see water has started to show up in a few places. Lots of trees. This is also a great way, if you can acquire all of the witchery plants, uh, this is a great way to just artificially create a whole grove uh, full of the kind of, of plants and trees that you need um, early on. It, you know, uh, e even now, I'm, I'm definitely considering using these areas as like a, a place to harvest a bunch of witchery trees, replant, etc., etc. Um, we can we can land over on this tree and just look around. Uh, so I think it's it's very valuable. Not to mention it grows an absolute ton of pumpkins and melons and ember moss and glintweed. Although glintweed doesn't really need the help, so all of that's pretty useful. Uh, over here, you can see that. Uh, one of the uh, a, bl a block that was not surrounded was replaced by water so now we have a whole little pool here How lovely so this should continue going for a while we won't we won't stay the whole time to to watch it um, because we have other more important things to do like preparing for the dragon fight but I just thought that I would show you guys what I've been what I've been up to slowly greening the desert over here for the sake of nature and, and reclaiming a little bit of territory. Eventually all of this sand will become grass or water and there will be trees out the wazoo. Uh, I am actually quite impressed with the increase in size when I now that I've used my coven. If we compare, you know, we can see over there the small, very closely knit it looks like it, it performs in a roughly square area. So comparing the size of the two, I'd say we can probably fill in that section uh, in a, with one more, and then we'll do it over there as well, uh, and just sort of slowly spread across the desert. It'd be lovely. 
I don't think, uh, obviously, this isn't an actual biome. As you can see in the corner, it's still technically the desert biome. If you want to change biomes, that takes another ritual entirely. Uh, but, oh yay, now there are, now there's a melon growing in the witch's circle, in the standing stones. Uh, but, you know, I feel like it deserves a name, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll think of an appropriate name for the, uh, all witchery plants biome. Alright, returning home, we can put this away and get back out. Our witch's bruise book. So, we were thinking damage boost, absorption. Uh, I am curious, I haven't actually tested this. I wonder if you make a gas brew of heal and then throw it down, do people keep healing while in the area? Uh, so we might test that as well today. Oops, let's scooch past here. Hi, Balthazar. And we'll head down here. So, we, yeah, we might, we might test that today because then it might be really useful if I can if I can throw down a few clouds of healing magic uh, and keep people keep people's health up that would be really useful so for that I believe we need a glistering melon Ugh, more more gold we have to spend but that's all right so that's a level two effect so let's just make a really easy gas brew as a test let's throw our saplings and stuff away. Well, not away, but back. Put the brew sprouting in here. Uh, put these plants in here. Do, do, do. Oops, that's not a plant. Uh, glowstone back here. Flesh here. Bone meal. Uh, and we'll put the talisman in our backpack with the other one and the, oops, and the attuned stones. Actually, I should charge those attuned stones uh, quickly. It's always more useful to have the charged ones on hand. So, oops, I just need one. Oh, actually, no, I need two. Two. Two and two. And we'll head downstairs. Excuse me, altar. Oops. I always struggle with the vines a little bit, but I really like the using the vines as a method of locomotion down into an underground territory. Hey, hey, put that back. Down into an underground area. I actually really like how my my whole house and everything is turned out. I'm, I'm really not much of a builder. You guys have seen the castle uh, over in, in Uberwald, and uh, you haven't seen it yet except on the map, but there is a enormous nether brick boat down to the south, and, and it's just, there are people on the server with really amazing building capabilities. Uh, there are some ridiculous builds in the spirit world that you haven't seen yet that hopefully you will soon. Um, but anyway, I am not that good, but by planting a bunch of witchery plants and having creepers accidentally blow up huge chunks of my territory, uh, this has actually turned into kind of a lovely little area. So. I'm really happy with it. I'll still do a build eventually. Uh, I have some exciting ideas for, for upgrading Green Mount. I have a, a build idea. My, my ultimate goal uh, since the start of the server has been a shop, a witchery shop. So that'll probably eventually be my main build once I, I get around to it. But in the meantime, there's still so much witching to do, not to mention you know the interdimensional crisis that we are attempting to avert. Little things like that. Uh, okay. So, uh, let's grab a glistering melon. I have melon in here. Right? Don't I? Am I out of melon? I guess I'd better get some. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Vines, please release me. Alright. Somewhere. There we go. Do I really only have one melon growing? Oh, I see, the uh, glintweed is getting in the way, like the absolute invasive species that it is. Okay. Uh, this glintweed can go back. Just go, just go, I don't know. Grow on the mountainside. Be fruitful and multiply, because you literally always are. 
uh, several of the other players on the server have adapted to my method of lighting and have begun planting glintweed, so eventually the whole server is going to be lit up by it. Uh, I love this night view because you can basically see where people are. You can see all of my little glintweed areas lit up and up here in Goblin Town. Uh, and then it's mostly dark, except if you go over here, you can see the Sandless Dune. Down to the south, you can see the village that the usurper of the Mesa lives in. Up here somewhere is Uberwald. There we go. And all of Uberwald is lit up, mostly by torches, though, um, rather than glintweed. That was an early prog project. Okay, so, melon, now I need gold. Is it nuggets, or... Yes, thank goodness, it's nuggets. <laughs> gold is a precious commodity right now. I still have most of a health bar to fill out, and the, the last modifiers on a couple of my pieces of equipment. So, that's eight nuggets, which is exactly what I need. Put this in, put that in grab a glistering melon. Can you eat these? I don't actually know. This is one of those moments where my absolute lack of Minecraft knowledge shows through. I can't believe I've only been playing for like a month or so. Possibly less? I'm not sure. Uh, no, definitely a month by now, right? Since it started... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's... We won't upgrade this potion at all. Actually, no. We need to upgrade it enough that it's visible that something is happening. So let's do the standard... Actually, obsidian is valuable, so we'll just do redstone. Actually, no, we're doing gas, so we don't actually need redstone and obsidian. We'll do glowstone and blaze rod. Um, capacity is two, so we'll do nether wart. Nether wart, glowstone, blaze rod, glistering melon. go that's power and duration uh, we don't need duration because we are going to be doing uh, extent and lingering instead wood ash cocoa beans belladonna I'll skip on the lapis whoops get back your book butterfingers uh, there's our wood ash and our cocoa and oh and our belladonna and then it will cost me a... The most expensive thing here is the wool of bat. Well, I don't know. The glistering melon was pretty expensive. Okay, this should be everything, right? Capacity 2, uh, power 3, heal. Extent 3, lingering 2, gas. I'm getting pretty good at this whole custom brewing thing. I've got it all stuck in my head. Okay. And then the... Yeah, okay. Let's make it. I th this should not cost any significant amount of altar power, so we can just throw it in. Do, 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 do. Grab some bottles. And bottle it up. All right, gas three, linger two, healing three. Now for the moment of truth. Let's fly somewhere clear and open like the top of our jungle tree. And actually, I need to take damage. Oh, I know how to take damage. Uh, Carn... Ah, come on. Carnosa... Carno... Carn... Carno... I am messed with my symbols today. There we go. Carnosa DM. Damage on command. Obviously, my infusion power is full right now, so I'm not actually gaining any benefit from this. I'm just siphoning my own life force away, but that's okay. That's what we want. All right, that's low enough. Gas brew of healing. Where, where did it... Oh, it's down there. That's odd. Oh my gosh. That's... It healed me up to full in like a second. That's nuts. That's incredible. Hang on. If I if I carno hang on. If I carnosa while in Oh no, it's going away because I didn't put a lot of linger on it. Shoot. Okay. Uh, so I think that's proven that that is absolutely a worthy investment for the fight and also for any fight ever. 
If you're standing in that cloud, you're basically indestructible. Uh, I'm pr I've tested in the past, and I'm pretty sure there is no that duration do has no effect on gas brews, uh, which is a shame because I would love to combine duration and lingering to make just something that lasted absolutely forever. Uh, but in the absence of that, all right, that test was a huge success. So our checklist for the fight. Uh, we would like to make some buff potions that will make us stronger. Uh, obviously the space mead in case things go terribly wrong. And some of those splash brews of healing because they are going to be ridiculously useful. Although I suppose we should be careful. I believe that vampires count as undead, so the Baron of Uberwald should probably not get anywhere near our healing potions. All right. How much focused will do I have? Right, none. I used it all. So I need to distill some of my flowing spirit. How many? How much space me do we actually want to make is the question. We're definitely going to be fighting more major threats after this. There are a few demons that I want to summon and challenge and everything. So having more space mead is not a bad thing. And I've been meaning to show you guys what it's like to brew flowing spirit anyway, so maybe I just use all of this. Hang on, let me make sure there isn't anything else that I need it for. Oh, I guess if I want to make... Hmm. I do kind of want to make a Dreamweaver of Intensity. So... Let's leave one of these behind. Gonna have to figure out a new setup for my Dreamweavers. I can't <laughs> I can't fill more of the space with fence posts. I mean, I could. Probably look bad. I'm not exactly sure how close they have to be to the bed in order to apply. Uh, I, that's something I can look up and or test. Anyway, we'll make four bottles of space mead. And then... How many effects do we want for the uh, power potion? I don't think there's anything. Yeah, <laughs> we can do tint skin as a joke, but it does cost a, a level, so probably not. Uh, so we want regen, damage boost. So that's a gas. Hang on, I'll I'll start adding these as we go. So we have the. The Brew of Flowing Spirit that we're actually going to put set to start distilling. I am almost out of clay jars. That's a problem. That's a real problem. And I'm almost out of oil of vitriol. Man, I'm going to have to... So I'm working to this. Please tell me I have some extra over here. Can I borrow... Yes, okay. I'm borrowing from my oven. I haven't needed to make... To, to cook trees in a while, but when I need to. I'm going to take out the odor of purity, because I don't think this distillation makes odor of purity. And I'm not sure why it was able to start... Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, that's weird. Uh, anyway, while that's working, let's put away the odor of purity. We want a gas tear and blaze powder. And that's level four. Is there anything else in here? I've wanted to try the poison weapon effect, but I, I, I don't know if that actually has anything, you know, any effect on uh, Endermen on heralds on a dragon. I've got no idea slow fall could be smart Maybe we add slow fall to the space mead Hmm it could be a source of inconvenience But it could also prevent fall damage for those in the group who can't fly Which is most of them um, the usurper the emperor the witch hunter uh, only I and the Baron of Uberwald can actually fly. Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else under level 2 that's really going to help. Yeah. Okay. Level 4, we have... Actually, since we're about to do a bunch of brew of bottling, I should make a brew of brew bottling uh, for myself so that we get more out of each that we make. 
Uh, so we'll also make one with a, a level four with a drop of luck. Hog's length, absorption is a golden apple. So I think if we add absorption, that brings us to a level eight brew, uh, which I may actually not have enough nether stars for, for that. Yeah. Okay. Capacity is a matter of, I can go to eight only spending diamonds. So if we make the brew of brew bottling is four, so that's nether wart and tear of the goddess. Nether wart, and let's grab a breath of the goddess and lapis, and we'll make one after the rest is finished distilling into an absolute fuck ton of hollow tears. Uh, all right, gather all that. The focused will is for the space mead. This will be for the brew of brew bottling. So, I'm actually starting to feel like we should write this down. Do I have a book and quill? I do, great. All right, we'll use this as our little planner. So, space mead, level eight minimum, uh, brew of brew bottling, level four, Four. That is level four, right? I'm trying to remember. Um, effects for brew bottling, yes. Okay, and then we want power, uh, which is currently the plan is level eight. Okay. And that's going to have gas tier. Oh, here we go. Okay, we can write out the effects. Regeneration, damage boost, and absorption. And then these, uh, okay. Great, now we have a little reminder. So, time to make a drop of luck. I always have to check the recipe. You'd think I'd know it by now, the number of infusions I've done. All right, Mandrake, Netherwart, Tear, Evil, and Mutandus. Mandrake, Netherwart, the Tear that I've just made, which means I'm going to need to make a few more. So let's just throw these in. I'm also gonna to need to make Diamond Vapor, so we'll add those as well. All right, Mandrake, Netherwart, Tear, Refined Evil, which I'm out of and Mutandus Extremis. I'm out of Mutandus. We are doing this whole thing from scratch, baby. Really, no Mutandus. Okay, Mutandus, I believe is Exhale, Mandrake, and an Egg. Yes, I make six, which is good. So, Mandrake, Exhale of the Horned One, and an Egg. Chuck that in our cauldron. Boop, boop, boop. And then get an extra nether wart so that we can turn it, turn one of them immediately into Mutandus Extremis. Uh, wrong chest. There we go. And after the tears are done, I'm gonna have to start distilling. There we go, Mutandus. Once this starts boiling, after the tears are done, I'm going to have to start distilling uh, demon hearts so that I can get the refined evil and then I will distill uh, diamonds after that actually I need to make more oil of vitriol so I can make the diamond vapor so ah, this is a multi-stage process all right make me some mutandus extremist please I am going to run out of clay jars by the end of this so we also, oh here, I can put the Mutandus away now. Uh, we also, we need a Refined Evil, which means I need to distill Demon Hearts with Diamond Vapor, which means I need to make Diamond Vapor, which means I need to distill Diamonds with Oil of Vitriol, which I need to make from Foul Fume and Quick Lime. I think all my Quick Lime is out here at the moment. Yes. 
Let's make a bunch. Can't hurt. Um, foul fume. Actually, it can hurt if I run out of clay. Huh. I guess we're going out getting some clay while this starts distilling. How much oil of vitriol is made? Just one, and it only consumes one jar. So we'll have plenty. Uh, so as soon as this gets done, we'll throw that in, and then we'll go searching for some clay in the river. This is a, a little bit more of the nitty-gritty behind the scenes. Witchery does have a lot of grinding. It has a lot of materials collecting and everything uh, in order to set yourself up. Oh, more foul fume. Cool. There. And we will put the rest of this away, all of that that uh, actually that doesn't go there that does though grab the slime balls extra slime goes in here brews of hollow tears go in here now have an entire stack of the stuff I'm gonna have to start uh, what can you even use brews of hollow tears for nothing great uh, I think it, it's used in some rituals and stuff, but it's it's stuff related to the undead, uh, which I'm I'm not really dealing with traditional undead. I'm only doing spectral undead spirits and and banshees and poltergeists and stuff. Uh, I'm not dealing as much with actual zombies. Uh, let's grab our mutandus extremis and refill the cauldron. Hop up here. Hi, Ambra. All right, I have everything except the refined evil for this one now, uh, which is the demon heart and the diamond vapor oil vitriol, yada yada. Let's grab my excavator and uh, sleep actually before we head out into the night. Oh, that's right, hang on. I, I, I had already forgotten by the time I wrote down. I don't think we need higher than level two. Um, let's check. I guess we can check to see if there's anything useful. I guess fullness, maybe? That would be interesting. If you made a, a fog of fullness uh, that would then cause your hunger to constantly re refill. But I don't, I don't actually think that's a, a big enough deal to include. So we'll just stick to the level two for that. Okay. Quick nap. And one remains. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's go grab some clay for our jars. Uh, I have pretty much cleared out the entire area around my home of clay for exactly this purpose. And actually, I've done a chunk to the sand as well as you can see some of my my mining there um, but if we go far enough away we should be able to find a patch that I haven't gotten to yet I should have brought some night vision so that I could see a little better down here all of this looks like sand there's some shallow over here this might be a good actually hey is that no, that's sand. Is there some clay over here in this, this shallow? Oh, oh, promising, promising. There we go. Give me your clay. Uh, this does not, hang on. Okay. Um, here's some more. Oh, nice, there's a lot here. Good. Clay is definitely one of the more annoying expenditures that I've had. I have, I keep having to come out here and get more because so many clay jars. Uh, let's do it from the side. Okay. Whoa. Oh, hey, hello, guy. Sorry. All right. More clay. Any more? Is that it? Alright, well we can keep going further. I see a little bit more over here. Clearly I've only gone down the river. I haven't gone up the river to find clay because this, this is this is a clay gold mine. Or I guess just a clay mine. Either way it works. Grab 
that. Grab these. Whack. And... Oh, there's some more over here. This stuff can probably be mined singly. I should get, like, a Matic or something. I I'm still, you know, shying away from having a full hotbar of Tinker's Tools, but having a, a Matic so that I can dig without pulling a massive area is probably wise. All right. Is that all of the clay nearby? How much do I have? Two and a half. Oh, oh the one, two, three, four and a half stacks. <laughs> I do love how much clay actually drops. All right. We'll finish clearing out this pond specifically, and then we will head home. So let's get this stuff and this. Never have too much clay, except when your inventory gets entirely full, so you actually have to offload some of your stuff because you do, in fact, have too much clay. I want to make sure I can still pick it all up. And this should finish us off. Oh, no, there. hey, there's still more under there. Well, don't mind if I do. If you're going to hide your clay from me. Hey, are you too small to hit me? Good, then we can be friends. All right, is that all the clay? Nope, there's still one more. Okay, now I think I have all the clay. All right, let's fly home and start cook, uh, actually, All right, and we're back. Uh, I doubt you missed much. It was mostly just me rambling about clay, um, but it looks like OBS has decided to be irritating again, which is just lovely, my favorite thing. Um, I am continuing to troubleshoot that, but hopefully this doesn't get as bad as it did on the last Arkham stream, because it actually stopped us from doing this stream. Uh, all right, throw in some clay. Make some jars. A lot. A lot of jars. Many jars. Okay. Alright, is that all the clay? Is that everything I brought back with me? I think so. On the bright side, we probably won't go short of jars for a little while now. Considering that I've just made six and a half stacks I've made so many that I don't have enough furnaces in the house for them incredible I suppose I could actually cook them in the witch's oven <laughs> that's kind of hilarious uh, here you go you can cook those no nope, can you not sad all right well, well we'll just wait and we'll throw these extras in with those let's drop off our dirt gravel stone sand and glass um, there's not enough space what can I take out? Do I need this stained clay? Don't think so. I'll take out the fence. I'll take out the wood things and we'll throw them in the trees section. Do, do, do. Um, that too. All right, new friends. Okay. Now that we have replenished our clay stock, we can put away this flint, actually, and that slime, and check in on our oil of vitriol, which has made quite a few. Uh, grab some replacement jars. All right, now this vitri oil of vitriol, we need some diamonds. And I'm going to make, how much diamond vapor do we need? Let's check our capacity requirements. Okay, so we are making, two level eight brews, a level four brew, and a level two brew, and we're making a bunch of each. So for the level two, we obviously don't need uh, any diamond vapor, we'll just use nether wart. 
for the level four we'll just use nether wart and tier of the goddess but for the level eight brews we are going to need how many nether stars are honestly cheaper i only have one though so and i don't have any null catalyst i've been meaning to make null catalyst so maybe i save that nether star and i just spend diamonds on that in which case we are going to need diamond vapor for each space mead and um, power potion that we make. Assuming we made we made four focused will right, so we are gonna that's uh, two diamonds for those, and then I guess we'll make four of the power potions as well. Uh, so that's another two diamonds over there. So four diamonds, plus we need some to distill with the demon hearts. So let's make five batches of diamond vapor, uh, which we will then put in the demon hearts, which will give us our refined evil that we needed. Uh, let's go back to filling out our ingredients over here. Gas tears, uh, blaze powder, uh, hang on, I just need two of those actually since we're making an even number grind up some blaze powder all right we said gas deer blaze powder and golden apples right Ooh, I actually may not be able to afford that I only have two blocks of gold so maybe we make lower level power potions just because yeah so we currently we're doing regeneration and is there an alternative to absorption that would be useful to the team? We're not fighting a, a, a witchery creature. I don't think the dragon attacks magically. I think it just, you know, tries to kill us. So we don't need that. And a golden apple is ingots, right? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Uh, I don't suppose I have extra gold. I don't, I really don't ever have extra gold. Okay, so we're actually going to level this down a bit. Uh, we are only going to use regeneration and damage boost on the uh, power potions, just because I can't afford to go more. We're already spending a lot for the focused will over here. All right, oh, and you're already out of jars. Hang on, I can fix that. Throw these in while I'm at it have some jars and some more jars all right so while that makes me the diamond vapor uh, I have my demon hearts ready to distill I have this is the material for the drop of luck uh, and we need a bunch of glowstone and redstone so let's just take a stack of glowstone um, 9, 18, 27, uh, 36, 45, uh, 54, and 63 is actually pretty close to a stack. So there we go. Uh, and a stack of rods, and a. I don't think I have. I definitely don't have a stack of obsidian, but I can go mine some really quickly. Um, obviously I'm not making a stack of any of these potions, but actually is 12 enough because we're making the one potion of brew bottling, uh, and that'll be a one obsidian. The healing potions will be, won't use obsidian. I could bypass obsidian entirely. Uh, and just make them all gas brews uh, so that their effects can apply to a large number of people at once. Um, that might save me some time, energy, and money. So we'll actually, we'll actually do that. Uh, we'll skip the obsidian and redstone and we'll use extent and lingering instead. So let's go get our wood ash, our belladonna, Coco, uh, Lapis. Are you done? You are, wonderful. 
Uh, all right, so I'm going to take uh, two of you and put you in with those. Uh, and then we'll drop off the rest of everything for now, uh, including the gypsum. But the slime balls get to live over here. Uh, okay, so this is power. Uh, this is extent. This is lingering once I add the lapis, which let's convert some of this back into lapis. And then we need the wool of bat. Oh, I will need one redstone and one obsidian, though, for the one that I'm making. Um, OK. I actually haven't made space meat as a gas before. I assume it's going to work just fine. Um, Maybe, maybe we will uh, vary that one up a little bit just in case. Uh, first, the very first thing we need is the brew of brew bottling. I need my refined evil for that, so let's go grab it and make our drop of luck. The altar is going to have to recharge a bunch between these. All right, Mandrake, Netherwork, Tear of the Goddess, Refined Evil, Mutandus, Extremist. Get us our drop of luck. The altar. Should take about of an eighth. Oh no, it's actually less than that. That was only five thousand. That's good. Grab that. Water. Wait for it to boil. Uh, okay. Now we need the standard fare for this. So let's grab us some capacity. This is a level four effect, meaning we need Nether Wart and Tear of the Goddess. And then we want the max level that I'm comfortable putting on it, max duration that I'm comfortable putting on it, uh, and we will just make it a potion for drinking since I'm the only one who's going to be using it. Okay, you're bubbling. Brew of brew bottling. Uh, let's make sure, actually, let's just check the altar power requirements on this. 5,000, so that's 5,000 plus 150, 5,150, um, 5,300, 5,000, okay, so that's, any, regardless, we have enough right now. Yeah. Great. In that case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down the hatch. There we go, the brew of decanting. Uh, so this will, once we drink this, this will give us 18 minutes uh, during which we can brew like the wind. We'll be able to um, get more bottles out of everything that we try and make. Uh, so let's actually queue up our potions so that we, we know we have everything on hand and we're fully ready for it. Just out of curiosity, can I throw things out of... I can. Okay, so I'm actually going to use my knapsack for this. I'm going to set them up in the knapsack. Um, put this stuff back in my inventory for now. Okay, so let's start with this because this is the most expensive we need a full acre why is the tree on fire no 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 do not set my tree on fire I object okay so we need the standard nether wart followed by tier of the goddess followed by diamond vapor, followed by straight up diamonds. Oh boy, pricey. But it's worth it. This stock should actually keep us for quite a while. Uh, so I'm actually going to make these drink after all. 
uh, just because I, I know that works and because I can make it quaff fast uh, so we can use them for emergency. So this is eight capacity. Um, power. Where's my power? I definitely was holding I, I appear to have put, where did my glowstone and blaze rods go? Don't tell me I threw an entire stack of each in here. Was I really absent-minded enough to throw an entire... Wouldn't that have ruined the process? What did I do? Where did they go? Hang on. They aren't, they're not on my other hotbar. They're not in here. What happened to all of my glowstone and blaze rods? Uh, chat, if you have any idea what I've done with these rather precious materials in extremely large quantities. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Okay. There we go. Glowstone and blaze rod. Whew. I was having a, a bit of a moment there. I mean, I, I, obviously I'll be able to replenish them. The glowstone is slightly harder than the blaze rods. For the blaze rods, we just have to farm for a little while. But nevertheless, it would have been very irritating. Okay. So we'll put the redstone in there. We'll grab some obsidian. All right, glowstone, so that's power, that's um, duration, then we need to grab, actually, let me check what my current brewing level is. 28, okay, so we're actually, we're doing really well. Uh, I think we're about to level up and start getting more brews per cauldron, so that would be, that would be really lovely. Uh, I will add quaffing to this, let me check quaff speed. It's a modifier. There it is. Rowan, exhale, Spanish moss. Great, I can do that. One, two, three, four. And exhale of the horned one. One, two, three, four. Modifiers actually happen before, after capacity, before effects. So this actually goes here, there there, there, and then we slot these in. And that is a complete brew right there, an incredibly expensive one, but saving all of your gear from falling into the void is worth a bit of money on the front end. Hopefully I can sell a few of these to the other uh, warriors once we get there. Make back some of my cost. So if I'm remembering correctly, this thing does take up a huge amount of my altar power. So I want to let it recharge for a minute. Um, this is an extra 100 plus the, uh, I think 10,000 from the effect. Yeah. Boy. So this is going to have to recharge for a bit and then we'll make one of the, um, We'll start with one of these. Then while the altar is recharging, we'll make the smaller ones for a while. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably get to work setting those up in my inventory as well. Uh, I'm just going to dump all of my important stuff into this chest for now and probably forget that it was there and then freak out later. Um, but if I just put all of this out of my inventory, I can focus exclusively on brewing. And I think that is the most important thing. So uh, I can even put my key ring as long as I leave the door open. All right, so let's, let's set this thing up in my inventory. Uh, actually, gotta get out all of this stuff too, so there's space, lots of gear. We'll, we'll clean up, put everything back where it belongs after, probably even after the stream. Uh, for now, let's just see if we can organize ourselves a little better for this brewing. 
All right, so this is one potion. My inventory, I will set up the next, which is the level four. Oh, I'm out of tier of the goddess already. All right. Let's make a bunch more tier of the goddess. Because that is an extremely useful thing that I need a lot of. And here's an extra refined evil and some more demonic blood, which is good. All right, let's see if we can organize our inventory and preparation for the next one. This is a level four brew of uh, strength and regeneration. So we need nether wart. four of that, four tiers, uh, and that should give me f the four capacity I need. Then, four of you, four of you. Let's uh, clean this part up a bit too. Okay. Um, and then for these, I mean, these can be, these can be drink too. Um, so that's another f three more obsidian. Getting low on this stuff. I might have to go mining for it after all. Um, put two of this back. Okay. And then we need more after the effect. Okay. Put this into my inventory because we know we're going to need more of it. Uh, we'll save this for the healing potion. Okay, so capacity, power, duration, effect, power, duration, effect, um, then dispersal. If we said we were just making these drink as well so let's grab quaff speed grab some exhale and then reorgan reorder this entire inventory because I'm a fool okay glowstone Blaze Rod. Do, 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 do. Effect, then the glowstone here. Uh, blaze Rod, powder. Effect. Okay. Well, organized is a strong term, but we'll say that's close enough to organized. Uh, all right. Now we just need the rest of our tiers from here put one of them away. All right, so this is also a complete potion. Great. And then the last of all, actually, the healing. Healing should be a little simpler, so I think I can set that up too, because that's just a level two effect. Level two, level two heal. Um, let's make some, how many of them should we make? I mean, we're doing four for all of these, so we might as well just do four. So let's make, because I have enough ingots, um, to make plenty, <laughs> more than I need. Uh, so let's do one, two, three, four. Do, do, do that. Convert these back into ingots. Okay. So the, the heal potion is going to be a gas brew. So we need nether wart. We don't need modifiers. Nether wart gives us the capacity we need. Power. effect followed by let me make sure I've got the order right uh, 
dispersal. Extent first, yes. Extent. Oh, why, is, why am I putting it down here? It goes up here. Extent followed by lingering, followed by the dispersal type, in this case, gas. And then I can put away the rest, put away my wood ash, put away my lapis and glowstone. And I think that is our complete series of potions. So let's get down to business and begin brewing. All right, we've got 18 minutes. Our, our brew of decanting lasts 18 minutes. So we need to get all of these done very quickly and hopefully the altar can recharge fast enough to make that happen. Will, will you close the, close the door? Oh, that's right, I don't have my keys on me anymore. That's fine. All right. Let's start with the big one. Actually, the big one's the most expensive. I think if I brew two more potions, I'll actually get up to level 30 and start having additional ones. So I now have brewing expertise three. Let us begin. We'll start with the cheapest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I should. Alright, gas brew of healing. What's my brewing expertise at now? Bottling skill 29. Alright, one more potion, and I think. Let's check in on our altar just to make sure that didn't take more than I expected. No, that was fine. Uh, one more. And I think we should have. Maxed it out. Okay. I feel more skilled at brewing. Perhaps less brew will be wasted from now on. That's great because my brewing expertise three has yet to trigger. Okay, so that's the gas brew of healing. Now that we are we've leveled up our in 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 actual brewing, not just in magically enhancing ourselves. Uh, I think it's time for the more expensive brew since we we have to scatter these throughout our process all right let's begin nether wart tear of the goddess diamond vapor diamond rowan exhale spanish moss glowstone blaze rod redstone obsidian focused will here we go only one still come on i have i have level three brewing expertise and i have actually i'm actually good at it now I need to be I need to be getting more than this still that's good that's nice um, pretty sure that has just blown out our altar power yes so we need to give it a second to recharge and while we're doing that we can do the less powerful brews um, I'm not sure how much the healing one actually costs in terms of altar power 200 plus probably a few hundred more for the various effects that should be enough to make more of the healing brew one two three four five six seven eight nine success oh there we go there we go now that's more like it that was three from one batch that's fantastic all right and that took how much altar power Oh, do, oh no. Oh, I have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Please tell me I still, I don't have the bucket. Oh no. Never right click with the brew of endless water in your hand. Now all my flowers are broken and I'm gonna have to replace them. Unbelievable. Oh, and it broke all the moss too, all the pretty moss. Stupid water. Why you have to go be water like that? All right, let's put away the bucket. I guess this is a nice this is a nice excuse to occupy us while we wait for the altar to recharge. Uh, throw the rest down here. 
check my F7 to make sure there's no, yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, plant a, an azure bluet. Blue, blue, it, blue, it, blue it. I don't know how it looks like a French word, so I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, the sunflower can go there. All right, my inventory back to being cleaned up. Great. How's the altar doing? Slowly getting back up there. Uh, it's going to take its sweet time, but that's all right. We still have 14 minutes left of brewing expertise. So. Let's do another one of these, our final batch of the healing potions. Two, three, amazing. Okay, eight is a good, we got twice as much as we put in, so that's a, that's a good payoff. Let's check the altar. That does take it pretty low though. So we are going to have to wait. Oh man, I wish I had my pentacle for this. Uh, but the kobolds, the hobgoblins, are still slowly mining away to gather enough dust for us to make a pentacle, so the center of my altar remains empty and sad. Stop, stop. Enough, enough with the setting trees on fire. Stupid kettle. So we must instead be agonizingly patient. Uh, we will probably wait on these. I think I want the brewing expertise to apply to, more than anything, I want it to apply to the extremely expensive space mead recipe. So we are actually going to wait until my altar has fully recharged each time in order to make sure that we actually get the space mead done prior to uh, me running out of brewing expertise. Uh, and actually, since that probably won't make the most entertaining content, uh, I will actually probably wrap the stream up here. Uh, you guys have seen what I'm doing. You're going to see me. You, I'll, I'll just keep doing that. I'll make more of the space mead, more of the healing, and then I'll make some of the power potion. Uh, and once I have done all that, hopefully sometime uh, tonight, tomorrow evening, uh, the United Congress will finally assemble, uh, and we will, with any luck, go do battle with the dragon and protect our world. So. Thank you so much for watching this very early Saturday morning stream. Uh, I appreciate you all. I hope you have enjoyed, uh, and I hope you'll be back soon because we will, and I'm very excited about the next few streams. So have a wonderful, beautiful Saturday.